Hello all, welcome to the SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the knuckle joint assembly using SOLIDWORKS. In knuckle joint, we have 5 parts. So first, I am going to draw the parts individually, then I am going to assemble it. First, we will start with the eye rod. So here, I am going to start with this circle. So open SOLIDWORKS, click new and click a new part file. Select the top plane, right click on that and select sketch. So it has two circles, one of diameter 60 and another one of diameter 30. So I am going to draw two circles. So select circle tool, click the center point and select it here. Similarly select the center point and draw another circle. Now select smart dimension, click this circle and enter its dimension. So the outer circle diameter is 60 mm and the inner circle diameter is 30 mm. Go to features, extrude bars and the height of the section is 36. So extrude this section into a height of 36 mm. Click OK. Now to draw the extension of this eye joint, I am going to create a new plane. So for that, go to reference geometry, select plane. So here you have to select two references. So the top edge is my first reference and the bottom edge is my second reference. Click OK. Now I have created the plane. So now right click on the plane and click sketch. So now I am going to draw a rectangle here starting from the circumference of the circle. So the dimensions of rectangle is the width is 33 mm and the distance is 120 mm from the center. So click smart dimension and the width is 33 mm and the distance from the center is 120 mm. Now, the meaning for this symbol is coincident. So this point is actually coincident in the circle, but here this point is not coincident. So what I am going to do is, I am going to click control and select the point and the circumference and I am going to select coincident. Now you can see the black line. The meaning for black line is the drawing is fully constrained. So go to features. Select extrude bars. So here the extrude starts from the plane. So what I am going to do is I am going to keep the plane as center. So select the mid plane option and the height is 33 mm. So from the mid plane it is 33 mm. Now you can see that. So now what I am going to do is I am going to cut this section. So the overall dimension is 33, overall length is 33. So I am going to split this length into three part, two cut section and a solid section. So I am going to divide the 33 by 3. So I will get 11. So select this sketch, right click on that and select sketch. So here select the line tool and draw a triangle. And as I told earlier, I am going to set the dimension as 11. Now I am going to pattern this sketch. So for that I need a central point. So for that I am going to create a center point here. So select the point tool and locate the point here. Click the point select control and click these two points and make these points as vertical so that it will lie on the same axis. So now go to pattern, click this arrow, select circular sketch pattern. So this is the point about which the pattern has to occur. Then this is the entities to pattern. So here this 
triangle i want to pattern it so select it now go to features now i want to cut this section so select extrude cut and the length of cut is 45 mm so the cut length is 45 mm now i am going to fillet this point so select fillet and the fillet dimension is 7 mm so select this line sorry if you wrongly selected the surface then you can click here and you can delete it select this line 1 2 3 and 4 so now i have filleted uh, the edges so further i want to create a cylinder here of diameter 30 mm so the length is actually not specified so we can define any dimension so i'm going to right click on this surface select sketch click control 8 to view the surface draw the circle click ok the dimension is 30 mm in diameter it is 30 mm and i am going to make this circle lie on the same axis so what i am going to do is i am going to select the center point click control and click this line and make this as vertical okay so go to features extrude boss so i have extruded it to a length of 45 mm click ok now this is our i rod so you can save this you can save this in a separate folder so the name is i end now you can close this so now i am going to draw this fork so here i am going to start from the front view so i am going to draw this profile first then we'll draw the circle later so we'll draw this profile first so it has two circles of dia radius 36 and 18 so select a new part so select the front plane select sketch draw two circles smart dimension and the outer circle radius is 36 so in diameter it is 36 into 2 and the inner circle radius is 18 so it is 18 into 2 okay fine now i am going to draw this uh, rectangular section of height 36 mm and the distance is 109 from the circular center so select rectangle so you can start it from here the height is 36 mm and the distance is 109 mm now click this point click control and select this circle outer line and make this as coincident okay fine now you can cut uh, the remaining sections so here actually So here we have to extend this circle to a length of 147 from this edge point. So I am going to draw a triangle starting from here. Sorry, a rectangle starting from here to a distance of 147. So this distance is 147.
so control this point and this uh, line and select coincident similarly select this point select control and select the circle and make this as coincident now i have to trim the unwanted lines to make this as a single solid so select trim entities and select these intersecting lines so now it became an single section click ok now go to features select extrude boss and extrude this to a thickness of 36 mm okay now i am going to draw these two circles so select so select this surface and select sketch so draw a circle by keeping this as a center and the diameter of the circle is 60 mm so first i am going to draw the outer circle alone so the diameter is 60 mm so go to features extrude boss and move in the opposite direction and extrude this to a height of 22 mm so the height is 22 mm okay similarly select this surface select sketch click control 8 and draw another circle of diameter 60 mm go to features extrude boss so click scroll button to rotate this so change the direction and extrude this to a height of 22 mm so now i am going to put a hole here of diameter 30 mm so select the surface select sketch So the diameter is 30 mm and these two circles are of same axis so i am going to click control select this circle and select the outer circle and make this as concentric so that it will have a same center point so now go to features i want to cut the material so you can click on that and you can extrude this okay fine so now i am going to cut this section so here the overall distance is 36 so i am going to split this into three parts so 36 by 3 is 12 mm so select this region click sketch select the line tool and draw a triangle here of breadth and height 12 mm okay so to mirror sorry to pattern this object i'm going to select a point at the center so here the dimension is it is located in the center since the height is 36 mm similarly here also keep it as 18 so that it will be located at the center now go to pattern circular sketch pattern select the center point and select the entities to pattern click ok now go to features extrude cut and cut this to a length of 45 mm so further i am going to fillet this section go to fillet so the fillet radius is 7 mm select these four lines click ok so further we have to draw a cylinder here so select this section select sketch select the circle tool and draw 
a circle okay the diameter of the circle is 30 mm and the circle is located at the center it means the diameter is the distance is 18 mm and click the axis and the center point of the circle and make it as horizontal okay so now you can see the black color line now go to features extrude boss extrude this to 45 mm now this is our fork end now i am going to save it as a separate part save it as fork the third part i am going to draw is the pin so the pin has two sections one of diameter 45 and the another one of diameter 30 mm so first we'll start with the 45 mm diameter of thickness 15 so close this select new part select the top plane select sketch draw a circle of diameter 45 mm always draw the circle from the center point extrude this to a height of 15 mm height is 15 mm now select this surface select sketch click ctrl 8 draw a circle of diameter 30 mm and extrude this to a height of 102 mm go to features extrude this to a height of 102 mm okay now we have to put a hole here of diameter 6 mm because we are going to insert the tapper pin so the diameter will be 6 mm and the distance between the hole and the bottom edge is 15 mm so select the right plane anyone select anyone perpendicular plane you can select right or otherwise the front plane select the sketch click ctrl 8 draw a circle here at the center at a distance of 15 mm from the bottom of diameter 6 mm now click the center point of the circle select ctrl and click the axis point and make it as vertical so that you will get a fully constrained profile now go to features select extrude boss sorry extrude cut and you can cut the material sorry so if you made any mistake in the future you can click this uh, option and you can select edit future so here actually i have started from the center point so i have to select the mid plane option so that i will get the cut section on both the directions now you can click ok so you can see a hole now save it as pin now close this next we will draw the collar so the collar is a hollow section of diameter 45 and 30 so select new part select the top plane select circle draw two circles of diameters 45 mm and 30 mm go to future extrude this to a height of 15 mm now here also we have to put a hole at the center of diameter 6 mm so select any one of the perpendicular plane select sketch select the circle tool draw a circle of diameter 6 mm at the center so that the height will be 7.5 since the overall height is 15 and select the center point 
click control and select the axis and make this as vertical so go to features select extrude cut can drag this since we have started from the center point make this as mid plane and you can extrude this now you can see the hole so save this as color Now we will draw the tapper pin, create a new part, select the front plane, click sketch, draw a circle of diameter 6mm. Go to features, extrude bars, extrude this to a length of 60 mm but here the tapper is given so the tapper is 1 in 30 but the overall length is 60 degree so we have to put tan inverse of 1 by 60 so that we will get 0 0.954 so click the draft outward and the angle will be 0 0.954 so it is tan inverse of 1 by 60 click ok so if you want you can evaluate this diameter so here the diameter will be 4 mm so the tapper is 1 in 30 so in 30 mm the diameter is reduced to 5 from 6 in 60 mm it is reduced to 4 mm from 6 mm. Okay. Now you can save this. It is tapper pin. Now close this. Now I am going to assemble this. So create new, create assembly, click OK. So automatically it will ask you the components you want to insert. So first I will start with the, the I end. So select I end, click open and you can fix this. So before starting any assembly, right click on that, click float, go to mate, so make the axis uniform. So select the front plane of the assembly and the front plane of the object and made this similarly the top plane of the assembly and the top plane of the mate and click ok similarly select the right plane of the assembly and right plane of the first part and click ok so don't fix any component this is the primary step of assembly whenever you insert any new part you have to keep all the planes as equal so you have to mate the planes of the assembly with the planes of the first part so click ok now to insert another component select insert components so we'll insert the fork select open now i want to rotate this first i'll rotate about o axis okay. now to mate this select mate Select the inner part and this part, so automatically it will fix the coins concentric mate. If you want to lock the rotation, select lock rotation and click OK. Further select this surface and this region, so automatically it will specify the mate, it is coincident mate. Okay. Click OK. Now I am going to insert the collar sorry the pin select pin okay so go to mate so first i am going to perform a concentric mate select the inner diameter and select the outer diameter of the collar and lock the rotation click ok so select the collar and you can move it further select the bottom surface of the collar and the top surface of the 
fork so it will automatically form the coincident mate click ok now I am going to insert sorry now I am going to insert the color select color and click open ok so first we will do the concentric mate on the holes so go to mate select the inner diameter and this diameter and make it as concentric mate and lock the rotation then select the inner surface of the collar and the outer surface of the pin and select ok so now you cannot move this like this because we have already specified the concentric mate in the holes now insert the tapper pin okay. so select mate select the inner diameter and the outer diameter of the tapper pin you can lock the rotation click ok so now you can move this pin select the top surface and select the circumference of the collar and make it as tangent mate so it will automatically specify the mate type so you can click ok so now this is our knuckle joint assembly